Welcome back to Soda City Live. Hampton University is a historically black institution located in Virginia, and it's a school that was attended by several notable U.S. figures. The Mid Carolina, uh, excuse me, the Mid South Carolina chapter of the Hampton University Alumni Association will be hosting a screening of a new documentary entitled Hampton University: One of the Wonders of the World, right here in the Midlands. Now that screening will be followed by a moderated conversation and a great way to gain understanding of the HBCU and it's also a great opportunity for local alum to connect and is open to the public. So joining me today is mid SC chapter president of the Hampton University Alumni Association, Carrie Abel and Hampton University alum Tamika Isaac Devine. So glad to have the two of you joining us today representing Hampton. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Best place on earth. Absolutely. <laughs> One of the wonders of the world. One of the wonders of the world. So I have to ask. I, I see that this has already um, got the eye of some great, some big people. So the Martha Vineyards African American um, Film Festival. Right. But have either of you seen it yet? No. 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 <laughs> and no. Tamika, you're actually one of the people interviewed in it. And I you am. have it. So I'm, you're gonna be I'm surprised. excited to see it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm excited to to see it as well because now that I know that you're in it and there's other notable figures in this uh, documentary as well. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Um so it's got um Jesse Jackson Jr. in it. Um it has um uh President Harvey who is the longest serving president of Hampton University. Um, there, um, it's Andrew Young. I mean, just the list goes on and on. And it just shows Hampton's impact, not just locally um, or in the Virginia area, right. but uh, nationally. And there's been whole, whole many, so many uh, historic figures, um, Academy Award winner, um, um, Ruth Carter. Ruth Clark. <laughs> Ruth, Ruth Carter. Carter. Uh, from, you know, the she did the, the Black costumes Panthers. from Black, Black Panther, Panther. Awesome. and she is alum. So it's going to be a great opportunity just to learn about Hampton, but also to celebrate HBCUs, yeah. especially in this time. And and I think for young people that would like to come out, it, it'll be something like if someone is looking to go into the university, it's a great right. way, especially for young people, because we're going to be talking about some of that later on in the show today, um, getting young people involved with college and having an understanding of some of these universities, because sometimes it's a fun time. You know, I think of a different world and you think about right. historically <laughs> black colleges and, and you think about the fun, but you got to, people really need to understand just the significance, you know, of, of HBCUs and, and the things that they've contributed historically. And Carrie, you're the president. <laughs> so, so tell us what, about your experience, especially being a uh, president representing um, your college here in the Midlands. Well, Hampton University is a historically black college located in Virginia. We have over 90 programs. Uh, it's a major research institution. And for me, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. Uh, the campus is surrounded by the Hampton River, three, water on three sides. Um, and there are notable persons, as you mentioned, who went there. But the quality of education, the family life, the character development that the university provides um, to you uh, is wonderful. And you, there's not an industry in this country or world that somebody from Hampton is not involved in. And all we have to do is pick up the phone and go to the alumni right. director and we can get it. We are always recruiting students. Um, we love to have students come to our campus and, um, and take a part of the various programs that we offer. And we also have the largest freestanding, um, the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute is the largest freestanding cancer institute in the world. And that's located in Virginia and run by the university. So we are, like I said, a high state university uh, and it's a family situation. And if you have never been, Come on up um, 95 to 64 and drop <laughs> on by Hampton University and you will fall in love. I love it. And so let's talk a little bit about the videographer responsible, okay. Phil Branch. He's actually going mm -hmm. to be at this um, documentary reveal, yeah. if you will. Let's talk about him a little bit. So Phil is actually a classmate of mine, uh, mm -hmm. class of 94, and he uh, was a journalism major at, um, at Hampton and has gone on to do just documentaries throughout the country. He's uh, already won several awards, but he was selected to do this documentary on the history of Hampton as well as the significance of HBCUs. And so he was doing all these screenings in Atlanta and Houston and DC. And I said, well, South Carolina, we have yeah. huge alumni here. Uh, we have a lot of Hampton pride come to uh, Columbia. And so we're hosting him this weekend. So we'll be at the uh, uh, 
the library, the main library, on Assembly Street at 3 o'clock on Saturday. We'll be able to uh, see the uh, documentary. We'll see it for the first time yeah. ourselves. Right. Um, but we'll have a conversation with him. Um, so we're excited to have him here uh, to give him that famously hot hospitality, but as, as well as letting people learn more about HBCUs and Hampton University. And one thing I do want to say, we were featured in the film, our former president, Dr. William R. Harvey, served as president for 44 years wow. and transformed the university. And the new president, uh, retired General Darrell K. Williams, is a 1982 graduate of Hampton University. Wow. So he and his wife has taken over the institution and has taken it to another level. So we're very excited about the changes, but also about where we have come from. Yeah. So one of the things you know about historically black colleges, they struggle a lot. But because of the leadership we've had over the several years, we are taking it into the next generation. So we're very happy about that. And we're inviting all the pers persons in the community and all the Hampton alumni to come on out and celebrate this screening. I love it. Well, I want to thank the two of you for coming, representing Hampton University. <laughs> you you came wearing your colors. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the blue and white. Yeah, you hey. definitely came wearing your colors. And we'll be sure to have these details on our website, SodaCityLive.com. Again, those details are right there. Excuse me, the screen is going to be happening Saturday at 3 at Richland, Maine on Assembly Street, and it's free and open to the public.